Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is the another example on solving system of non-homogeneous equations C. Investigate the values of lambda and mu. Okay, lambda and mu are some unknowns which are involved in the given system. So that we have to find out these both values so that the simultaneous equations are have no solution and this system of equations are have a unique solution only and this system of equations are have an infinite number of solutions. It means that we have to find out the values of lambda and mu so that given system has no solution, given system has only solution and only one solution and given system has an infinite number of solutions. Okay, see. So first of all, as usually, we have to find out the ranks of A and augmented matrix. So first of all, write the matrix form. The matrix form of given system is Ax is equal to B. Take it equation number 1. Okay. That is, what is Ax is equal to B? What is A? Write the coefficients of first row. Uh, first equation as first row. So, 1, 1, 1. All are 1's. Next, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, lambda is equal to into, write the variable matrix. X, Y, Z is equal to 6, 10, mu. This is coefficient matrix A. Variable matrix, constant matrix. Write the augmented matrix. The augmented matrix of given system 1 already you know that it is represented by a b 1 1 1 1 1 2 3 1 2 lambda and you should write constant matrix b as last column of this matrix so 6 10 mu so you should write dots between A and B. Okay. So, as usually, we have to reduce this matrix AB into echelon form. For that purpose, we have to make these two elements to zero by using first diagonal element. So, here already it is one. So, just to subtract the rows. R2 implies R2 minus R1 and R3 implies R3 minus R1. Okay, so above matrix AB becomes to 1, 1, 1, 6, 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 10 minus 6, 4, 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 1, it would be 1, lambda minus 1. Mu minus 6. Okay. Still we are not getting the echelon form. We have to make this element to 0 by using this second pivot element. So what is the operation? Just to subtract the rows. R3 minus R3 minus R2. See. AB becomes 1, 1, 1, 6. 0, 1, 2, 4, 0, 1 minus 1, 0. Lambda minus 1, minus 2. So, minus 1, minus 2 becomes lambda minus 3. And uh, mu minus 6, minus 4. So, it would be 10. Now, A and AB both are in echelon form. So, we have to set the values for lambda and mu. For what values of lambda and mu, given system has no solution and given system has unique solution and given system has an infinite number of solutions. So, see the case one. In the first case, we need 
given system it has no solution when do you have the given system has no solutions if rank of a and rank of ab are different both are unequal then only given system is inconsistent and has no solution see here here i will replace lambda is equal to 3 if we replace lambda is equal to 3 then what happened 3 minus 3 0 so and i'm not replace mu is equal to 10 you can take u is equal to any number other than 10 so this is non-zero so you will get rank of a is equal to 2 because last row is 0 if you replace mu is not equal 10 you will get non-zero term here put lambda is equal to 3 and you can take mu is any number other than 10 That implies rank of A becomes to 2 and rank of entire augmented matrix is 3 because here we have non-zero term here we have 0 if you close this column since this is 0 rank of A is 2 since this is non-zero rank of AB is 3 so given system should write that rank of A is not equal to rank of AB so given system has no solutions for lambda is equal to 3 and uh, mu is not equal to 10. You can take any value other than 10. It's enough. Automatically given system becomes inconsistent and it has no solution. See the next case. What is the second case? We have to set the values of lambda and mu to get unique solution only. When do you when do you have the unique solution? What is the condition for that? Rank of A should be equal to rank of A B should be equal to number of unknowns. What are the number of unknowns in this given system? N is equal to 3. X, Y, Z are there. So to get rank of A is equal to 3 and rank of A B is equal to 3 don't put lambda is equal to 3 here if you replace lambda is equal to 3 last row becomes 0 in capital A that's why take any value for lambda other than 3 and you can take mu for any value you can also put mu is equal to 10 no problem if this element is 0 and if this element is non zero then entire ranks becomes 3 no doubt at all. So rank of A is equal to 3 and rank of AB is equal to also 3 and also N is equal to 3. So rank of A is equal to rank of AB is equal to N is equal to 3. So in this case given system has given system is consistent and uh, has unique solution only unique solution only for lambda is not equal to 3 and you can take mu is equal to any value for example you can take lambda is equal to and mu is equal to 10 you can get the ranks surely you will get both ranks are 3 no doubt at all okay now see the case 4 sorry case 3 so in the case 3, we have to set the values for lambda and mu so that given system has infinite number of solutions. What is the condition for infinite number of solutions? Rank of A, rank of AB should be equal to, should be equal and uh, that common rank should be less than N. See here, for that purpose, I am replacing lambda is equal to 3. I will put lambda is equal to 3 and I will put mu is equal to 10. So this becomes 0 and this becomes 0. The entire last row becomes 0. Then both ranks becomes 2 only. So if lambda is equal to 3, mu is equal to 10. Lambda is equal to 3 and mu is equal to 10. Then rank of A is equal to 2. Rank of augmented matrix AB is also 
2 but n is 3 that's why these both are same and which is less than number of unknowns okay so given system is consistent but it has an infinite number of an infinite number of solutions for lambda is equal to 3 and uh, mu is equal to 10 this is the investigation this is the investigation in the next video I will give some more examples on solving system of non-homogeneous equations. Thank you very much.